Okay, so, Sean Merriman. Uh, his brief time with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, now, if you're not a huge Raptors fan or was it watching basketball in 2008, 2009, you probably don't even remember this still happening. Uh, when you think of Sean Merriman, the two teams that come to mind is the Phoenix Suns, where he played with Steve Nash and was a multi-time All-Star, and a third All-NBA team, and the Dallas Mavericks, where he won his 2011 title. Maybe if you're a really big fan, you'll think of his time with Miami. Maybe his time at Cleveland, if you're a big Cavs fan, or you have some knowledge of players who play with LeBron. But no, he played 27 games with the Raptors. Why it happened? was, well, that same year, 2008-2009, the Raptors made the big splash of getting Jermaine O'Neal to team up with Chris Bosh. This is when the Raptors thought they could you know, maybe get out of the first round. They were swept the previous two seasons, and they had no playoff success. Um, growing up, being a Raptors fan, I remember these times. This is right after Vince Carter left. Um, remember that embarrassment and just things. And they had Bosh, and they just made playoffs in two years before that and this was time when Boston had its big three and you couldn't win in the East without getting another star. You couldn't win in the East but only having one all-star. So they traded for Jermaine O'Neal and it didn't work at all. At the all-star break they were 13 games out of 514th in the conference and Jermaine O'Neal was an expiring contract and you didn't think he would stick around. Because why would you stick around and lose? Uh, why would you sign a long-term deal and not make the playoffs? So they packaged him to Miami for Sean Merriman. Uh, he was only there 27 games. He started in all 27 at 14 points per game. 14.3, which was two more he had the previous season with Miami. But by then, he was already past his multiple-time All-Star form. He's made a couple all NBA third teams, but he was past that. He was more of a bench role player. And he didn't see much of a future in Toronto. I'm not even sure if they offered him a contract. But the Raptors were clearly going in a different direction. They decided to rebuild, I believe, shortly after they got DeMar. They traded for Carl Lowry. Shortly after they got JV, uh, Raptors legend, Jonas Valanciunas. It was a complete culture change shortly after that. Sam Mitchell was the coach. He was let go. The team was completely turned around. And Merriman decided to go first plane he got was to a um, Dallas, Dallas Mavericks where he won his title. Um, ultimately, it didn't mean much. It's more of an oddity in Raptors history that he played for 27 games and started. But the only reason I remember this ever happening was because I was watching a Raptors game at the time and watching the score, which used to get a lot of Raptors games at the time. It's now Sportsnet 360. And I remember a commercial, uh, Sean Merriman and the Raptors go to take on, you know, I think it was Chicago and Ben Wallace. And the highlighted commercial was Merriman dunking, pouting on the bench, and SpongeBob SquarePants. There was a SpongeBob SquarePants mascot. Uh, anyway, if you're just, you know, browsing upon this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe, all the YouTube things. And uh, you all have a great day. Bye.